Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Uru Tuoyi. Welcome back. If you've been watching, welcome. If you're new, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, just a point of clarity before I talk about the topic of the day. My channel is not a lifestyle channel. Though I may talk about how I do things and how I live, but it's, it's not a lifestyle channel whereby I'll be sort of like, you know, evolving my life sort of like in a reality tv show maybe but it's not about that it's about it's it's an educational type of a channel so if my videos happen to be long i apologize but sometimes i need to explain so that i get the message across but i'll try as much as i can not to drag or repeat points but some videos will will be long so please bear with me and please do enjoy the content that i share so the topic for today is prayer so i want to talk about how i pray and how it's been working for me and how i needed to understand certain things for for me to get comfortable in prayer and for me to pray in a way that i believe and i'm sure that i'm gonna get a response when i pray so um first of all you need to understand that okay it's said that god created the world in his image which is very interesting for me because when i sit down and observe nature and how everything is created yeah it, it raises questions for me so first of all it says that okay god created the world in his image his image but when you look at nature there's male there's female there's masculine energy there's feminine energy there's the sun there's the moon yeah so when you look at that you understand that okay there's there has to be more than one representation of his in everything that is underneath the sun even and even the sun is part of nature so it's the sun and the moon masculine energy the sun feminine energy the moon and then yeah and then you get the stars you get other planets which are part of the universe the universe in itself is god created and uh, the water the plants the animals so those are the things you need to understand in in my belief i believe that it's either there's a male god and a female god or there's a female god it can't be a male alone so a male can't create a human being for an can create a human being and carry it for nine months and then raise that human being. It's all a female that does that. So on earth, we sort of like we are living under that energy of, you know, being nurtured, skutalel in a way, as in we are growing on earth. There's the sun, there's plants, there's everything. So that has to be, in a way, a representation of a female okay so even in the bible there's there's missing okay i'd say that the feminine aspect of things is sort of like suppressed a female doesn't even have a say in church it's not allowed when you read the bible the female is not allowed to say a word in church she should be just there and then leave after church but yeah over time things have evolved but in the bible it's like that so there has to be some sort of like a misrepresentation of the feminine energy in that regard so that's one those are the basic things you need to understand when you pray there's water water carries a message even when you're being baptized water is used for a reason that it carries a message so either it carries a message of taking your sins away or it carries a message that says um you are now a reborn you are now a rebirth of you are now reborn a rebirth of something or it carries both takes all your sins and then puts something else so when for certain religions or religious or spiritual practices a person is taken to the river for cleansing you know so there has to be something about water. There has to be a message in water. Either you're taking a message or you're leaving the message there. When, when doing certain things, you use water. Especially water from the ocean. 
or water from the rivers. So there has to be something about water. Okay. So the sun has an effect also on the earth. It's obvious. The moon has an effect on the earth. It influences the waves of the sea and the ocean. Um, and then there's air as well. There are mountains. There's everything. There are different elements. So you need to understand those things when you pray. That when you're praying, you're praying to the universe. You're praying to God. God created the universe. So which is why we're always told that Whatever you want, you must you must manifest it. So you're sort of like writing a message, sending it to the world, and then expecting a return. Expecting an answer in return, if I may put it like that. So that's those are the things you need to understand. So some people, when they pray, they feel that um, they feel weird when they pray. They they don't believe in their prayers and feels like chicken wing. You know, they're not effective. If I may explain, so we need to understand those things before you pray, and that's the basic, that's the basis of prayer. Regardless of your religion, regardless of your spirituality, those are the things you need to understand. That everything that's in the universe, everything that was God created, has an effect, and we use those things as part of prayer and part of, you know manifesting certain things um what else so you need to appreciate those things okay so when you pray you pray to god you have that at the back of your mind that you are sending a message to the universe you're sending the message to god and hoping for god to re to respond so god may not respond immediately it may take time for the prayer to go through uh it may the prayer may be answered, but not in the way you're expecting, expecting it to be, okay? So, sometimes it's a test of your resilience. Sometimes it's a test of how genuine you are. It's a test of how much you want this thing. So, even if your prayers aren't getting through, or you feel like they're not getting through, but the act of repetition, you know, praying consistently, being in the moment all the time is a part of prayer because you don't know when nature is going to respond. Maybe the prayer is ready for a response, but you're not ready for the response. Or the prayer is waiting for you to move. So when you pray, when you mention one entity in prayer, everything else around that entity has to align. So if you pray for that entity, certain things will have to change. But you may think that, okay, yeah, maybe I'm just going through phases. But it's a prayer. I'm mean, sorry. It's, it's, it's changes that are happening in preparation for the prayer that you're making. So you may say that it's taking long for the prayer to be answered. Whereas you're already in the, in the process of your prayer being answered. It's just that when are you waiting for that physical thing or you're waiting to see for the thing that you're praying for. Whereas, you know... The heart has to be prepared for that. The mind has to be prepared for that. Everything else around you has to be, you know, prepared for that. So when you pray, which is why you have to be consistent and believe that it is going to happen eventually, then you start noticing changes up around you and you start appreciating those changes because they are a part of the prayer. So when you pray for one thing, a lot of things start to happen around you and then you eventually reach that point whereby you've been praying for so those are the fine elements of prayer you need to acknowledge everything in nature and that everything that god created in nature has an effect on how we live has an effect on how we do things you know it's not just you and you alone and then it's you and god you're just praying to god there's a, a whole lot of things around you that you know contribute towards us living you know you have to appreciate the sun you have to appreciate the moon you have to appreciate the stars the sun sorry the waters the plants the animals and everything else that god created because the true the true essence of of praying is you want truth and you want love so with those two things and i'm not talking about love love turned on a relationship i'm not talking about that kind of love which yeah, it's also a part of it, but 
when you when you love something you know you have you have that caring ability towards it anything it doesn't have when you when you talk about love you <clears throat> don't talk about you and your partner that's not necessarily love of which in most cases it's last but yeah it's love and truth so when you pray you're praying towards that you praying around that so a lot of things have to be acknowledged and a lot of things have to change around you so that you get to your destiny of prayer and it's an ongoing thing you don't reach and then you stop it's an ongoing thing you pray for everything around you so that's how prayer works and that's how it's worked for me and that's how i constantly do things and i continue to learn a lot of things because i pray for most things and they happen some take time some get answered immediately some are an ongoing process that i'm seeing on a daily basis that okay this is changing this is changing this is changing and then i think back of what i've prayed for in the past and then i realized that oh actually it's that prayer that i made a long time ago that this is the evolution of events that that are happening for me to finally finally reach that destiny so i hope this video is helpful and you find it fruitful so please don't forget to like subscribe and comment and even share this video thank you so much